Hello? Okay, my voice is back this time. I... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's load. Day, this is day 28. So, you might notice these autosaves here. Um, I basically let the game play in the background forever. But, um... None of that matters. I discovered something recently, and it's kind of, um, it's kind of game-breaking, right? You don't need any mods or anything for this, um, but basically, I have discovered how to run, uh, oh, well, how to get through the map, right, down to the bottom so that I can run all of my logistics underground um, and save a lot of space up top, surface area, uh, and also make everything neat and tidy. So basically what this would let me do is, um, instead of running this quartz up and then straight over, uh, and same with, with the bauxite and coal up there, um, I can just run it under the map and then have it rejoin where it needs to. Uh, I don't need to do sky bridges. So basically, um, I get to do all the same stuff I wanted to do, right? I just run it underground instead. And yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spend this episode doing a little bit of that. I, this won't be a very long episode because I have to, uh, to go to bed soon, but, um, I wanted to show you how to do it, um, so you can do it to your heart's content. So I'm going to start with uh, foundation, put it in vertical mode. It doesn't let me build down, um, but that's okay. So the really important thing is that wherever you decide to do this, you put a um, a power pole close to the ground. So actually that's not even, I want that to be a little closer. So I'm gonna build it right there. Um, and you wanna make sure you have a hover pack uh, equipped. Uh, and then you want this to be an active line. So let's see, I'm gonna do a hyper tube. Do I have the stuff to make hyper tubes in my bags? No, I don't. I need to grab some of this. I don't know if I need anything else. Let's see, a transport, hypertube, pipes. I need pipes. Good thing I saved all my pipes right up here. Unintentionally uh, super useful right now. Alright, let's see. So hypertube uh, support. So cool trick you could do here with the hypertube support. Um, when you go to build it, you click and hold, and then you can use, while you're holding the mouse down, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to aim it. So what we're going to do with this one is aim it right at the ground. And then, uh, build a hypertube out of this, and you can really put it anywhere. You can do like this whole circle thingy, or you can just, you know, run it straight out. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here so I can do a little swan dive thing. Uh, and then you take a hyper tube entrance and you just plop it right in the front and hook it up to your power source. So now this hyper tube should send me through the map and then you hold the space bar, right? You gotta hold space bar so you don't fall to your death right there. Uh, and now, let's see, I could have gone, I could have gone like all the way down to here before it got scary, right? So you have, you have some time to press space uh, before you die. <laughs> but now I'm under the map um, and I can build down here just like this. So it, it sort of, it takes away 
your limitation of <clears throat> um, a vertical building at the ground so you can basically use all the space under here to do whatever you want. Um, a lot of people will use the space down here to um, run their trains or uh, hyper tubes to get around the map faster and really once you get under the map you can just make a straight line from A to B uh, and is the fastest way to move your stuff. What I want to do is um, run my bus but underground and uh, what I might end up doing to um, sort of minimize the work needed to do that is just use teleporters, but use them underground. Um, and that way it'll, it'll look like my world is doing normal stuff up top, uh, when in fact it is using mods to move stuff around. But So what I want to do right now is uh, build... Zoop. I want to build this here, so that if I go to use this again, uh, you just, whoops. So if I go to use this again, I don't have to hit spacebar. I can just let it shove me through the map and land right here. Um, and how you get uh, out of this is you just fly up. There's a one-way one-way collision. So that's getting underneath the map. Just that simple. Um, and now I have some work to do. So let's take a look over um, at the mega base, as it were, that I'm going to build over here. It's essentially going to be a castle uh, for building things. I know that the water does interfere um, eventually with building underground. I'm not sure where the water reservoir ends under the map, so I'll have to do some checking into that. Um, but I could have my bus just sort of like start here, like merge in here. Um, I don't know if I can have it come up out of the water. Because <clears throat> I know if you just, if you come down here, you're swimming. I don't know how far down that goes. So that's one of the types of things that you have to um, check over here. So I can, I can do a real simple uh, recreation. The other one right here. I'll just do a little hyper tube. Put this over here. Do another entrance. Connect this to power. Put power over here. And I might just be swimming when I come through the other side here. Yeah, I'm just swimming. And I didn't even go under the map, I just went into a rock. So I'll take that out of here. Take this out of here and do another hyper tube. I'll just have this one be actually on the sea floor. Like that. And go under the map. And am I flying? Yeah, I am flying here. So I can build. It doesn't let me snap to the bottom of this, but it does let me build downward. So I can do a vertical build to here. I can do that here. And uh, I'm swimming now that I've touched bottom, so I'm not quite sure how to deal with that.
This definitely feels um, pretty buggy, though. So, all right, let's do... I need a power source, so I'm going to create a wall outlet here and try to connect it to this. Back down here underground. And now I can connect to that one so I can go all the way down here. Yeah. So I can, uh, I can build you know, whatever I want, wherever I want. That's pretty cool. Um, it also lets you build inside of big things, uh, even if it's not under the map. So, for example, I could have a factory inside uh, this giant rock here. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go crazy with this idea. Excuse me one second. I'm gonna go crazy with this idea and uh, route all my stuff underground. Um, I think I also am getting closer to the point of the Let's Play um, where it's going to essentially end and um, and then you know you kinda get to do whatever you want with the map um, and I get to do whatever I want in little snippets here and there uh, and not have to record it. Because um, it does it does drain some of the fun out of playing the game uh, when you when you have to turn on the record button and sort of figure out you know what kind of content you want to do it's it's hard to just log in and maybe adjust something or build something really quick uh, on the fly because you got a plan to do a let's play. Uh, or, or you just feel like you're wasting a couple hours in the game, you know? I did have some things planned. <clears throat> um, I don't think I will see them through to completion during the series. Um, and I might just occasionally pop on to discuss, uh, you know, what I am going to do, and then make a video on, you know, what the end result was. So that's... That's the future of this series. Uh, for now... I think it's time to start... routing some stuff underground. Although I'm not really sure where I want to start. Um, the, the big thing I wanted to do was just get that um, concept shown. And you know, maybe I will um, route all the stuff. Because like, there's so many opportunities um, to redesign my plan now that I can send the whole map underground. All the, all the resource nodes of the whole map, I'm gonna send them underground to that corner, right? So. Um, there's so many chances to um, <laughs> to say, hey, this is a terrible idea, I should start all over. And so I think I'll do that off stream, or without recording or whatever. I definitely feel like I'm at a point in the, um, in this save where uh, what is it, the... What is the thing called when you have too many options? Let me Google this, actually. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna find this out. Choice overload. There, yeah, okay. Choice paralysis. The paradox of choice? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, the paradox of choice. I can do so many things that I can't decide what to do. <clears throat> and I do think about this when I'm at work sometimes, but...
I should definitely go make some blueprints right now, though. And start using all of these um, resources that I'm sending to this factory. Just so it's passively doing something. But I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is bring this out to a clean 30 episodes. Um, which will give me two more segments to really just shape the direction that this game wants to go. Uh, or I want this game to go. And then uh, leave it open-ended enough for anyone to copy the save and just start playing the game. I need a lot of concrete for this. And there is some over here, I believe. Or I should say limestone, because that's what's actually over there. Should, there we go. Uh, is that pure? No. It'd be a pure one, like, right over here. Maybe I'm too far away from it. Pure. Pure. Yeah. Pretty sure it's over here. Or maybe I'm thinking of the nitrogen node that's right here, and maybe it's over here. I don't know. So, I need to build computers. I'm building computers. I need to build... Um, <clears throat> heavy modular frames. So that was... I don't remember if I made a blueprint for that. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Now I remember the heavy modular frames. So essentially... Um, the modular frames. I need to I need to pull out my calculator again. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open this, go to the calculator, put it on my other screen, switch Firefox to top. There we go. Got that. Uh, production planner. <clears throat> so for my inputs, I'm gonna add. Stealing it. Uh, or actually, no, 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 no. My output, I'm going to add modular frames and then options. Steel screws. And then for the inputs here, I'm going to do 780. Oops. And, whoop, not that. Uh, it was 8 times 324, yep. I think this is wrong. So, this is going to use, um, how much is this using? 135 iron and 13.85 steel. Oh wait, no, 195 iron. So, if I want... I'm going to do 40 of these, right? It's going to use 540 and 240 is 780 iron ingots. Okay, so one of my belts is going to just feed into the modular frames, and then steel ingots it's using a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to open a new... Can I duplicate tab? Yes, I can. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to set this to zero, I'm going to set this to zero, I'm going to set this to zero, I'm going to do output 
heavy modular frame times 10. Right? But then inputs. Modular frame times 40. No. No, oh, but it's eight of these. There we go. And then got my alternate recipe there. Uh, and then what do I need for steel ingots? Uh, uh, more than I'm producing. Okay, that's good to know. A lot more than I'm producing. All right. Let's uh, add a thousand steel and see how many it uses. Okay, right on. Limestone is 600, that's good. I can use a normal node for that, maxed out. Um, but I need to be generating more steel. 882 by the looks of it. 882 more steel. So I gotta go find some iron nodes and some coal nodes. All right, so this coal node is being used. These coal nodes are not. Two of these aren't. Uh, I could just, I could make steel right here. Why not? I'll make some steel right here. Where's the altitude of this? Seven meters, and this is 163 meters? Okay. Um, so this is a great place for me to check out my smelters. So if I want to make 780 steel, I need more modular frames, which I can find back at the tower in my storage. I entered this too slow. It's going too slow. Oh, one of the big benefits of routing everything underground means that I don't have to do diagonal um, belts, which take a long time to actually like physically put together. But I really do think I'm gonna turn on mods. Um, for the teleporter mod, because I think that one is actually pretty fair. Uh, so let's see. I could finish some of these right now, I guess. I don't know. Where's my. Uh, oh. I actually could build quite a bit of generators, but I'm gonna do that later. Uh, okay, so I needed, what, 100 and. 30, was it? 150. Put that away. What is this? Why is it not labeled? Oh. <laughs> Okay, steel foundry, uh, yeah. I can build it, and I need, um, well, let's just edit this list here. Let's take these out of here again, yet again.
two of these. So it needs 10 supercomputers, 20 fused modular frames, and I don't have any coupons. I have one coupon. How do I get, oh man, okay. So I, I don't think I can build supercomputers. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, I can build supercomputers if I have the parts. So that's good. I could, I could set one of these up to build a bunch. Uh, the fused modular frames, though, those have to be uh, made in a blender. So I don't have the resources to do this right now. Um, so what I should do is set up the steel foundry uh, with Mark II, and then just not have it run efficiently yet. because it's still going to be producing enough steel to compensate um, down there. Because it really... Yeah, if they're pure nodes, I'm pulling 600 off of Mark II, right? Uh, with extra shards. So I'm really only squeezing an extra 360 per minute uh, combined resources, or... 180 steel per minute. So either way I'll be over. So I'll go ahead and start that up. Uh, portable miners. Yeah, I'll just make them before I go. Right over here. Okay. So how do I get there quickly? Uh, I think I just take that. Take the path up over. Man, I should have just rid rodin, ridden, rided. These belts. Yep. I think I'm actually moving faster, um, being assisted by the ramp here. So I think I'm moving slightly faster than I would be if I was running. Oh, oops. charging pad or anything, but I have this pad that I rest my phone on, on my desk, just so that it doesn't slide around. I don't know if that's really nerdy, but I do it. It was like, um, it came with a screen protector kit. With this little, uh, it's like a, a poly screen cover. It's like the, the flexible ones that they protect against scratches, but they don't they don't offer any impact protection really. Um, so I got one of those. Uh, and it came with this like checkered foam uh, insert. Then you're meant to rest your phone on it when you um, set your phone down to to apply the screen protector just so that, that the uh, phone doesn't move on the desk while you're 
doing the thing. Did he even drop anything? I don't think he did. Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, Mark II Minor, right here. Yep. That's where I wanted that. And then let's take a look at the... Other screen here, it's right here is where I need to go. Just confirm that with this. Pretty sure I'm like looking at it. It's over there. Is that? Yeah, it's right at the center of the screen right now. That's the that's the rocks for the node. Okay. Oops. So I want to get into the map. do this. I think I have to put um, I put a lift hole I really need to just figure out where I can route this to so that's not going to work that would uh, hmm I do kind of like that. Yeah, I'll do the lift hole here, right in the center of this. I'll do a four meter deep. Right there. Bring this over here. Do an entrance here. And hopefully I don't get shot down into the uh, Shadow Realm. Go! Whew. Okay. Nice. Hey, look, water. Alright, so, oh, look, the miner had a thing over there. There it is. It doesn't like when I look at it, though. Doesn't like certain angles, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I think, yeah, I can build this here now on the bottom, so take this and build straight down. Can build a power line. Uh, let's do that here and then build this one straight down. And I can fly down here. Do some more of this. Down here. Do some more of this. It only lets me do six. And then I... I'm hitting this thing. Cool. Uh, Alright. So this is a problem. I am now on a rock. And I'm fairly certain that if I just walk over that way, I'll end up sort of locked out of this area. Um, but that is pretty cool to look up and see all the things that I built. I guess you always see your stuff being rendered even if there's... Um, 
things you're not supposed to be able to see through. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that hurts performance. Anyway, let's fly back up here. Um, how am I going to get that node? I think I have to keep going, right? I probably just do this thing again. Right? I make an entrance right or I make a support right here. Stick it in the ground. Make another hyper tube to like right here. Do another entrance right here. Oops. Connect this to power. Go on through. Hold space. There we go. I'm a little bit lower now. Spiders. Oops. Eventually, there is a kill box down here. I'm just not sure if I'm going to find it uh, anytime soon. I don't know how, f how far down it is. <clears throat> this does seem almost low enough, though, where I could build... Almost low enough. Let's keep going, let's find out. Um, how's my auto save doing? Let's do this. We'll save that right there. Damn, you hear that? That's a uh, snow plow going by. All right. Send that down there. Let's keep going. This is pretty spooky. But also really cool. This for sure is low enough to kill me, I think. But I'm gonna find out right now. What? Oh, whoa. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess trial and error is how you figure that out. Um, not today. <laughs> So now I want to go. Whoop, I want to go towards my iron. Where is it? Oh, right there. Pretty much due west. So that's west. problem building down here is uh, if I uh, accidentally delete my power source I just fall to my death and I can't get any of the stuff off my body which is a lot of stuff I have to rebuild my hover pack and all that pretty sure I have most of the stuff but I really don't want to go through that <clears throat> so let's avoid doing that thing is so picky.
O. I'm there. Cool. Well, I guess I don't need any of that. All right, one more time. 72 meters. My math is correct. Uh, it should be right above me, right about here. What? Oh, it's because it's height. Oh, okay, so I don't even need all that. Oh, I'll we'll just leave it there. Uh, okay. So I need to go up. I need to fly upwards. still underground. Oops, nope. Hello? Iron? Well, there's my iron. Okay, so now the problem is that I don't have a power source because I didn't bring it up top with me, so... Uh, how far am I from the nearest power source? Well, I pretty much just have to go climb over there to get it. But I have to clear out this area anyway, so that's fine. Where did that bee go? Where's he, what are you doing? Buddy. All right. Let's clear this thing off here. No, I gotta go east to get my power source to get back under the map. Fortunately, I have some fuel so I can zip on up this way. Nope. 
interesting. Don't mind me just climbing a wall. I think it's over here. Oh, no, it's over there. I flew the wrong way. This is attached to my world grid. So if I just build this whoop, straight up, I should actually be able to. Yep. Yeah. And I can connect this. Oh, this is the. This is the top of, uh, <clears throat> this is where the ground comes out, so I just fly up a little bit. Now I'm stuck up top, but I have power, so I'm not stuck up top. And I can get rid of all this. And... I can do this. Build the miner here. That works. So I could do a lift hole here. Do a receiving end here. Feed this into here. Overclock the shit out of that. Connect it to power. There we go. Just have to get back underground. don't actually need these here. I can take those out. Because floating rock is cool. Um, and I think I can just build right here. I don't see a reason that I couldn't just produce everything right here so I can go into blueprints and steel foundry and get my inputs Let's line these walls up there we go just slap that on down right there I don't think it matters which one goes where, so I can... Plug that into that. Bring this over here. Feed that into this. Power there. And 
why isn't this working? Let that fill out. It's gonna take a bit. Uh, in the meantime, I can run the coal belt. How's this one gonna work? Let's get rid of these. This one is gonna be a little different. Then I'm gonna do one of these, then I get rid of this one, and then I'll do a conveyor lift hole, and then I believe I should be able to just go straight up all the way here. Connect this. It's going. It's taking forever. There it is. How much did that cost? 220 of them, jeez. Okay. So then, I can come over here. And... Do this. Connect that. Boom. Going through there, no problem. Just going straight down. Stick this here. Now it's going somewhere. Okay, the iron has stopped. Let's see. Iron looks good here. Iron looks good here. But I do have to be careful. Uh, 
lot of this stuff. I think if I just change a lot of this stuff around. It fixes the routing. Oops. Okay, coal is going in. Steel should be coming out. Now the question is, how do I want to get the steel from here to the factory? And I think... I think I just... I don't know. Do I just run it in a straight line? Is that the play? If I'm going to do an underground bus... All the way to the ocean. Nah. I don't know. I think that is a question for another time. How am I going to get this out of here? It's the same process, really. I just drag the uh, belts up. But <clears throat> So from the top of the world now, um, this is a couple of miners that are just routing their output into the ground. Right? And then it's essentially like I dug a tunnel, lore-wise, right? The the lore works. I'm not, I'm not breaking anything. But I think, yeah, I'm gonna leave this alone. Uh, well, no, I have to get the steel somewhere. Let's do that. Let's get the steel somewhere. Uh, so if I bring it just straight north, right? If I just do this straight north. Let's do that. all of my oh, I got to I got to carry the power with me as well that's annoying Damn it. Autosave. Alright, yeah, I'll just do these up top, who cares? I hear things that want to kill me.
Huh. That is a cavern right there. And I'm not going to go inside it. What is this music? I feel like I'm playing Borderlands. This got spooky quickly. What the hell? It's the end of the... Yeah, cool. my mind. Okay. <clears throat> I have no idea where I... Oh, okay. I've only made it, like, this far. Oh, my God. How am I doing on... Oh, I'm gonna run out of sheets. Gonna run out of, uh, concrete, too. Oh. I think I'm, like close to the surface though. Yeah. I am I am close to the surface. So that's cool. I could use this area right here. Let me just look at my map, see where that is here. Pretty flat section. Yeah, this works. All right. I have coordinates. Nice. There's the world. Yeah, I gotta tell you, right now I am rethinking some stuff. I'm so close.
Oops. Don't mind me, just building in the void. So now we have a problem, and the problem is I'm essentially out of concrete. Hmm. So basically I have to go back. And I think what I have learned from this one uh, path down here under the world is that I'm going to use the teleportation mod. That's the... Ooh, was that a yellow? No. It's one of those freaking things. Is it going to be easier for me to get back to concrete if I just go up here? Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President so. urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Let's see. What's in there? Hmm. Can I pop out right here? Almost. Just random power pole in the middle of nowhere, cool. How do I mark this? Uh, a snap tab foundation. That's how I mark it. Boom, marked. Okay. That's, that's pretty obvious, okay. I don't feel bad about leaving it like that. Did I crash my game? I crashed my game! By jumping around. Man. Uh, let's see, last autosave would have happened. Recently. Pretty sure I was yeah, I was just okay. This is actually not bad. This is a this is okay. Um because I know that I don't have enough resources to finish that path. Um I also know that I want to use teleportation. Uh and so though I have wasted the time in the video uh, I think I know what my future plans are going to be for this, so I'm actually not going to finish that, um, and I'm just going to use the teleporter mod.
Which means we get to fly on up out of here. Whoosh. Um, I still could use this underground pathing to lay a power grid for the world, um, or I might just do that up top. I could do a nice blueprint that, uh, you know, has a foundation, makes a little power tower. Instead of just putting these things all over the place, I could do, like, little nice-looking power poles. Um, yeah, but now I know... this out, that's for sure. I want to know why my game crashes here, and I wonder if it has to do with blueprints. I wasn't using any when I was building this, so... Doing the thing. And I ran out. Okay, so that was done all the way to there. Wow, okay, so I'm almost done. Actually, with my aluminum sheets thing. I think I'll do that and uh, wrap off the episode there. Uh, so, box, uh, what does it say? Yeah, box and conveyor. Belt's not finished. Oh, for now. Let's take those. And why is this thing stopped? What is the deal with this? It's missing silica. Because I'm sinking all that quartz. I'm sinking a ton of quartz, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. I should put a line of conveyor belt right here, just for something to jump on. So I'm doing all this work to finish these belts, and I'm going to use the teleporter mod anyway, so... That's life. You heard it here first, this game is going to have mods. Mark 5 built it all the way. Cool. Uh, I can edit my to-do list. This is done. Uh, 
and that's the end of the episode. Just get back up to my tower here. Uh, <clears throat> adding teleporters is going to change everything. Uh, it takes out a lot of the work of um, managing. What am I trying to say? Logistics. It takes like the logistics factor out of the game. Uh, you just get to build things, which I think is pretty cool. You know, just want to build things. You still have to be um, producing the right amounts of things. Um, you have to produce a lot more power, actually, to be able to even have teleporters. So they consume a base of uh, ten megawatts, which I'm not even producing yet, but. It's okay, I'll finish uh, some of those fuel generators, and then I'll actually let's take a look at that. Let's uh, save the game here. Uh, let's do new save. And I'm going to save it here, but then I'm going to... Um, Let's see, well, I exit to main menu, and then do I, I don't remember if I do mods from here, I think I have to load them in the mod loader. Uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, exit. Okay, so I have to go to the satisfactory mod manager, <coughs> which is a super easy program to use, by the way. Alright, so I'm going to be adding the storage teleporter. We're adding that. It's updating. Uh, and that's the only one. Yep. Storage teleporter. Launch satisfactory. Alright, let's take a look at what I need to get this thing going. Okay, mods. So I have the mod loader uh, and the storage teleporter. That's it. That's all I have. Uh, let's continue this. Some mods previously used in the save are missing. Uh, okay, well I was never using any of these, so... Yeah, confirm. I must have had them on when I was first starting the Let's Play. Oh yeah, I think I was. I think I had them like on but disabled. Maybe in the first few episodes of the save. Okay, so we go to the tier five, six, so uh, what am I missing? I'm missing storage teleporter, so. I'm gonna get the interface. Storage teleporter, what? From anywhere in the world, what? I'm gonna get the teleporter hub, which is just a little um, thingy you build. You configure the teleporter at it. No, you power this, and then it, yeah, lets you run these. Okay, so I need oscillators, AI limiters, computers, cable. We're going for it. Boom. AI limiters. Do I have those in bulk anywhere? Pretty sure. Oh, I need more cable. <laughs> uh, and 
crystal oscillators, I will have to... Steal some of the... Well, that's probably not the most efficient way to do it. Let's see. Um, how much do crystal oscillators cost? Because I totally would just buy one. Parts. Four coupons for a hundred of them. Uh, yeah, right. Five computers. And regular computers. Oh, those are down on my factory thing. Uh, Crystal oscillators, where are they? Right here. Uh, 36 quartz crystals. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take some of these. Excuse me while I painstakingly make these by hand. Well, this is awful. I hate this. And I just sunk all those other ones recently, too. So it's 36 to make 2, so 360 to make 20. I need 25, so 360 is. 90 divided by 4, so I need 90 times 5. Right? Is that bad math? 36 to make 2. 360 to make 25. Uh, 20. 360 to make 20. Divide 360 by 4. So, so 450. I need 450 quartz crystals which is 750 quarts. Whew, 750 quarts. There's 700. 20. Whoops.
let these go at their own speed. You know what? That's not that's not a good idea. Uh, let's have these feed into a manufacturer that I can't afford. Missing 50 plastic, 10 heavy frames. Heavy frames, yeah. 50 plastic, 10 heavy frames, 5 motors. Boom. Let's do a manufacturer. Right here. Look how full that is. Boom. Okay. Uh, there needs cable and reinforced plates. Send it. And all this. Full send. 2.5 per minute. Oh my god. I need more of these. I need more. Cable. Seven point five per minute. Okay, we'll give that a couple minutes. We'll go down over here. Get five computers.
Okay, actually, I gotta figure out what these crates are from and get rid of them, because they're really bugging me. So, first crate is here. There it is. One coal. Second crate. Is here. crates are gone. No, I just have one crate over here for something. Some crates over here. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Time to go check on thing. Six of these. Y'all got six of these. Uh, hmm. Okay. Had a bunch of extra those things. Uh, I feel like this is faster to make by hand, actually, so I'm going to take that apart. And... Go make my... Oh yeah, so much faster. 26, there we go. And we'll send this and this. Send her on our way. Okay, new buildings. Logistics, I think. Yeah, two new items. Storage, teleporter, hub. And the item teleporter. So the item teleporter itself. Man, crystal oscillators. I swear, I remember... I remember this costing computers to do. But I feel like maybe crystal oscillators is still hefty enough of a price. Okay, I need more of them. Crystal oscillators. What am I missing? Quartz crystals, of course. Oh well. Well now we have the general idea of what I'm going to need to do. So basically, every single time I place a miner, it's going to cost me um, all of those mats plus one uh, between one and five sheets and two motors five AI limiters a hundred cable and an oscillator, um, but that's on, it's gonna be on both ends of it because for every, for every seven, well, I guess for every 780 I put in, yeah? I needed to take 780 out. So 
so these are roughly the same size as a splitter. Um, they just allow me to send it across distances. Why is this purple? Has it always been purple? Apparently this has always been purple. It's just my lighting. I don't know. This is definitely black and white. This is okay. It's whatever. My lighting's being weird. All right. Uh, maybe th it's just because like the game is like this sometimes. The lighting just feels weird. Or maybe it's because I have mods on. That could be it. Let me check my settings. Uh, video, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Game feels better now though. Uh, Something feels weird. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna save the game. Uh, and that's where I'm gonna leave it at 56 hours. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll put another. I'll put it uh, up to day 30. I'll put at least 60 hours into the save, and I'll try to have it set up so that it's you know people can hop into the game uh, and and then just start you know, build in their ultimate factory with resources coming straight to them. Then they can go out and add more if they want. So that is <clears throat> that is the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.